my final thoughts and review on Santa Lucia's Dark Collection. Well, we're going to start things off with the bottle. Design of the bottle. I love it. Matte black, square, modern, elegant, sophisticated, mature. Need I say more? The only problem I have with it is the cap. This cannot happen. I don't care who makes it, whether it's niche or designer. You have to have a cap that holds the fragrance bottle and that I can pick it up from. I'm done, Harper, on that. I've said it. It's the same for all three bottles. One thing I do love about the bottles, and that I find is quite unique, is that when you put all three together, bear with me here. As I was saying, when you put all three together, you get the full fragrance name of Santa Lucia, which is very nice. Of course, this only works when you get all three of them, um, but it's a nice unique touch, and even more unique are these little anecdotes that they have on the fragrance bottles. I've said this before, I've never seen this on any other fragrance house, so full marks to Santa Lucia for this. Um, love is a transaction, it's a fantastic way to start the day. Well, let's start with love. Not your grandmother's rose, it's definitely the most unisex of the three, the most feminine smelling because of that rose note, but it's well balanced with the smoke, well balanced with the um, the smoke, that woody note. It's uh, the opening is definitely strong with with uh, you get that grapefruit and rose, so it's definitely more feminine floral smelling on the opening, but it dries down a very nice, mature, sophisticated scent. Um, would wear great on women, and of course, extremely sexy for men if you can pull it off. Definitely recommend it. Longevity is good, 12 to 14 hours, and projection is average. One thing I will say about all these fragrances, unfortunately, is this, it appears I go nose blind to them really, really quickly. Uh, I sprayed Gala on the other day, and within half an hour, I had to basically bury my nose in my hand to smell it. The other day, I sprayed Gala on me, and um, about nine hours later, I had some guests come over. The first thing they said when I walked into the room was like, woof, wow, you are projecting like a beast. So um, be mindful, these are all parfums. There's strong fragrances. Two to three sprays um, is, is what I'd recommend. Unless, of course, you're Curly Fragrance and she would probably put on 25 sprays of each to not be a sissy spray. All right, next one on to Gala. The most versatile fragrance of the three. One that you could wear any occasion, any season. Unisex, sure. Um, very nice, very pleasant. Be careful with that saffron, that base note. It's strong, it projects, it lingers, it's headache inducing. This is one that I go nose blind to very quickly, but it's one that other people might not. And so, like I said, keep the sprays on the low because this one projects like a beast and it law. Lasts a very long time, over 12 hours, no problem. So do be mindful of that if you're in a close encounter. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's a great scent. That's all I have to say. It's nothing that is. Uh, it's not something that's super memorable, but um, the way that they mix the Italian lemon with that sandalwood, it's it's really. It starts off fresh. It starts off bright, and then it dries down to something. Uh, more tamed, more mature, more masculine. All three of these fragrances, as with their namesake, these are darker fragrances. <clears throat> and of course, finishing off with a bang, my favorite of the three, Azabache. And this is not Azabache. Give me one moment. This is Azabache. Here we go. All right, keep it on track. Pepper, coffee, tobacco. If James Bond had a fragrance, this is the one. Oh, goodness. you know what? Oh, that is that is fantastic. Absolutely mind-blowingly good. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
I don't know what's in here, but it just, it's, it's a, this is a mood booster. Um, super long lasting. Be careful with close encounters. This is a spicy, warm, rich, dark, extremely mature fragrance. Um, you can definitely overspray this. I just did three and I'm sure I'm filling up the room as we're speaking. So, uh, wonderful, wonderful, very unique. You will never smell like any other guy she's been with or any other guy in the room. I can guarantee you that. So, um, again, by far my favorite of the fragrance house. I don't see why this won't last, again, well above 10, 12, 15 hours. The projection is quite strong from the beginning. Um, unfortunately, I go nose blind to these extremely quickly, so I can't tell you what the projection is like down the road, but I'm sure it uh, it still uh, it still lingers quite well. I'm still, all in all, Jose, Santa Lucia, you guys crushed it on this collection. Unfortunately, I didn't, I didn't get the chance to get my hands on your first collection, the uh, come closer to conquering every day. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I discovered you guys with this one, and uh, I don't see why I won't keep going. I won't keep supporting you in the future. Um, there's one thing I could recommend is maybe you want to incorporate some sample sizes for your fragrances, just so that other people can try them uh, if they're not ready to commit to something that's quite unique um, and uh, of course of, of this price point. So my only two gripes with this are better caps and sample sizes and I would say this would be a fantastic launch keep up the great work these are all strong recommendations from me I've absolutely enjoyed every single time wearing them and uh, yeah. if you guys are interested they're gonna be linked down below friendly reminder I strongly recommend that you subscribe to the teaching men's fashion YouTube channel they are constantly and I mean pretty much every week every month running sales on their Santa Lucia fragrances. They have some bundles or they'll give you a free gift like a home diffuser or a car diffuser. So I'd strongly recommend if you're interested in them, do subscribe to their YouTube channel. You'll be in the loop for those sales and you can grab uh, you can grab one or three or more of their, their offerings for, uh, for a good price. Um, all right, that's it for me guys. I'll catch you in the next one.